Hey everybody, it's Jody Seeley with Our High River and another candidate video to help you get better informed for this year's municipal election. Joining us is one of our candidates for council, Terry Coleman, and I know it's down to crunch time as they say, Terry, so thank right. you for taking a moment to have a chit chat with us today. All right, thank you. Well, let's start off with just in case we've got lots of new people in the community and we know we're blessed with lots of candidates running in this year's election. So let's start off with learning a little bit about who you are and and why you chose to run for council. Well, I moved to High River in 1977 and at that time I worked as a Caribbean police officer and did so for about 27 years. And then I was chief of police for over 10 years with the Moose Jaw Police in Saskatchewan. From there, I worked for the Saskatchewan government as a deputy minister. My responsibilities included policing and municipal affairs. Subsequently, I was a city of Moose Jaw councillor. In that capacity, I chaired the transportation committee, which was a good sized committee. I was also the council rep on the police commission. I've been a member and chair of the High River Policing Committee for about nine years now. And I'm also an appointed board member of the provincial Alberta Police Advisory Board. Uh, many may not have heard about it, but its uh, purpose is to improve policing in rural and small towns policed by the RCMP. This is just a few of my many experiences that are relevant to being a successful councillor in High River. High River has been my hometown for many years. During that time, I've participated in many events to improve the quality of life in High River. Based on my wide and relevant experiences, I look forward to being an active participant in making High River a community of choice. Safe, prosperous, progressive, and inclusive. That's awesome. Now, we know there's lots of moving parts to this election, especially being in the midst of a pandemic. But we know that there are different priorities that people are bringing to the table that they see are sort of the first steps once elected. So Terry, our question to you is, what do those top three, we'll try to pick three, because I'm sure there's there's lots that everybody wants to be a part of, but what are your top three priorities should you get elected and, and how do you want to start kind of the ball rolling on those? Well, I'm taking the strategic approach. Uh, there will be a new strategic, strategic plan with the new council. And my three are public safety and well-being, social and economic development, and the Calgary Region Metropolitan Plan. I intend to, uh, well, I'm going to be positive. When I'm on council, yeah. uh, we will uh, have lots of consultations about what will form the priorities for council, and thus High River, for the next four years. And I will, um, I, might, I may have some other people that would agree with this, but it, I will certainly take a stand on this strategic approach and then, of course, we can decide how we'll uh, operationalize that strategy as we go along and during the discussions. Awesome. OK, so we wanted to talk. We got a question from uh, a few citizens about the AUMA Local Democracy Pledge, which I'm not sure everybody knows all about. But the AUMA is the Alberta Urban Municipalities Association. And for anybody who's not familiar with the pledge, it's Sort of just like if I paraphrase it, it falls along the lines of keeping lo local politics local and having transparency and respect in that. So I guess our question to you is, is your thoughts on that pledge, Terry, and if you have taken it or would plan to take it? Well, I've done considerable work with AUMA in the last few years, and uh, I have uh, I've read and signed off on the pledge. I think it's uh, solid. It's very relevant, and I totally agree with it. That's I signed off. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, what are your overall thoughts on the current number one strategic priority with our council, and that's the long-term water strategy with High River? Well, it's number one, all right. It's number one of number ones, perhaps. Yeah. The, uh, I strongly support that strategy. Uh, it's essential. There's lots of answers to be, uh, well, we, we need lots of answers yet. And I haven't heard yet anyone has convinced me that it's currently safety or in, even safe in the future. There's a lot more work to do here. And I support that strategy. 
one, I think that will be an interesting challenge for new council coming in with uh, is taking some of those pieces from the previous strategy plan and incorporating new pieces. So I think that's one of the ones that is a is a big consideration for a lot of residents. That's right. Yes, very much so. Yeah. All right, Terry, I appreciate so much your time in connecting with us today and giving people some more information. Now, as we go into advanced polls this weekend, we remind people those are at the Bob Snodgrass Recreation Complex. And then, of course, the election day is October the 18th. Terry, if people would like to connect with you between now and the time they cast their ballot, what is the best way to do that? The best way is to email me at Terry Coleman. That is all one. 297, that is the same that joins up with Terry Coleman, at gmail.com. Terry Coleman, 297 at gmail.com. Perfect. We will post that with the video so people can get in touch with you. And I just want to applaud again you putting your name forward to step into a another version of a community leadership role, which we know you're already doing in other capacities, but appreciate you stepping into that. And good luck with this election, Terry. Thank you, Jody. Have a good day.